Okay, so I was thinking I was making a video, but I wasn't doing jack squat. But what I was talking about is how my day starts due to my frequency, vibration, and my intentions. And how it's first thing in the morning and I'm already out, you know, doing deliveries. And I said, okay, I got some time to spend to myself because I'm finna go to A&R in West Jefferson. I already been to um, David Kegler's. I've been to, who have I been to? Um, who have I been to? I've been to, um, why I always Kirkland? Right there by, I don't know. When it comes to my memory, I see I got to do some intense, well, I ain't gonna say intense, but I gotta do some work on me, you know, remembering things. Cause I see, I remember I used to be so good. I'm like, see? But that's what practice does. When you practice certain things, you get better and better and better at it because all, all you're doing is memorizing things that are more beneficial for you. And like I was saying about those um, spaces, you know, no space is empty. I remember, I remember me saying it about, you know, certain people, how they have nothing to offer. Everybody has something to offer due to an uh, individual being neutral. And what neutral means is you transmuting energy to work in your favor. And a lot of times when things work in your favor, it's allowing you to see things that no longer are going to be in your life. It's just the energy. So when you see that energy, that experience that you felt that was something that was not beneficial, it was beneficial because you transmuted the energy. Therefore, when it's time for you to be in another situation that looks similar, you will know like, no, this is not for me. That's how people are able to predict or to, you know, manifest things that are going to be more beneficial for them because they've been paying attention to the things that has that has been showing up that has not been beneficial for them and so people who are not aware of that what they would do is they would allow themselves to stay you know positioned in a situation that has nothing to offer them and then before they look up or before they know it they are in a situation that you know has been ongoing you know for quite some time that could have been eliminated eliminated due to the fact that they was conscious of what was taking place before them and that be a lot of that's a lot of people you know weakness or should I say their downfall is them allowing themselves to stay in situations that are not serving them that are you know really I ain't gonna say it's stagnating them but it's, it's keeping them in a certain type of mindset and a certain type of paradigm and a certain type of you know lifestyle that they already came to groups with and told themselves that they was gonna do something different when it came to that situation the reason why I talk about the things I talk about because I, I try to go more in depth. You know, I, I see a lot of talking and not a lot of explaining. So when I talk about things, I like to get the back end of the situation because it's like people will be like, okay, well, you got to shift, you know, your paradigm. Okay, I would say you got to shift your paradigm. Shifting your paradigm ain't nothing but really setting goals and seeing what it is that you want to continue to do in your life and what you want to release what you want to experience in your life uh, you know what you want to manifest in your life you know it, it's, it's a lot of things that are in the equation of you shifting your reality or shifting your paradigm because all that why does that do that it's like this when it comes to this anyway 
So that's why I talk about the things I talk about because it's like it's a slippery slope, but it's also due to the person's perspective and their upbringing, their beliefs, because beliefs can entrap you in a certain uh, per perception, and you'll be wondering why nothing is changing. But here's the thing: a lot of times when you allow yourself to go with the flow and not force anything you'll begin to see that everything that has been how can I say called within your life or conjured within your life it was because you told that particular thing to come in your life and a lot of times we can do that via ignorance or you know just us just regurgitating things that sounds like or seems like is is you know gonna be something beneficial for us but a lot of times that ain't the case if we don't know ourselves then we creating you know our life with energy that is outdated due to what somebody else said that worked for them when a lot of times well this is what i say because i have experience because everything is tailor-made if you didn't make it, then it's like you allowing something outside of yourself to construct your reality, which is not going to give you the results or the outcomes that you want. You know, it's something stuck in my head, um, which is about outcomes. It's like, don't don't wait on certain types of outcomes because it's like there's an expe expectation when it comes to, you know, other people. And you can't hold other people accountable for things that they really don't understand so this is another entrapment that people do they hold other people accountable for the things that they want to experience in their life for the the feeling that they are experiencing at that moment in time but you can't hold other people accountable all you can do is just learn from their experience and you know allow yourself to explore the many aspects of yourself that will require you to remove certain types of individuals, certain types of programming, certain types of how can I say this? Certain types of emotions as well. Because when we allow ourselves to hold on to things, meaning be attached to certain things that are outdated for us, that's when we will start to to loop, to cause ourselves to experience those things that we said that was not beneficial for us. And I keep saying the same thing because it's very trickery. You know, it's like a magician doing, you know, spell work. But the magician is the self. The magician is, you know, our thought processes, our emotions, you know, how we perceive ourselves. That's the magician. So you can either have a show or have an outcome or have you know, an experience that will be more favorable for you or you can have a show or you can have an outcome or you can attract certain people in your life that will continue to show you the things that you need to heal. And when it comes to, you know, spiritual work and healing and getting to know yourself and, you know, doing shadow work, that's all it's about. Healing is about releasing the things from your life that has been keeping you stagnated or has been a hindrance in your life or obstacles in your life due to the fact that you've been holding on to things that was not of your making that was not of your beliefs that was not of your energy all of us came here with a specific type of energy signature and Every day, our job is to become acquainted with the energy signature, 
to become acquainted with, you know, the support we have within the spiritual world, to become acquainted with, you know, the many aspects of ourselves so that we can understand which one to implement at the right time, at the right, you know, how can I encounter? You know what I'm saying? Like, we would get out of character and show up as a persona when a particular how can I say uh, energy or a particular entity show up within our space and we would get results that we don't like because we use the wrong character each character come with its own energy and each energy brings forth different results di different manifestations because we are multi-dimensional people and when we come we come to realize that we are multi-dimensional people and first we are spiritual you know I would say spiritual forces and that's another slippery slope it's like when you say well don't force nothing just go with the flow well we are a force you know to be reckoned with but the thing is, when you force something, that's you pushing, that's you, you know, resisting what is it, what is the natural state of that, that thing or that individual or that space. And once you push on something, then you are automatically causing it to alter itself out of its natural form because it's trying to you know cater to uh, it's trying to how can I say mirror what's before it so when you always be in your authentic self then however the outcome do turn out what you be your authentic self it's already gonna work out in your favor like I said because everything is neutral when you are aware of who you really are it's gonna be neutral it's not gonna be anything that can take you out of your energy field because once you get taken out of your energy field that's when you fall in the trap of being you know spellbound by somebody else's beliefs by somebody else's you know ignorance by somebody else's um lifestyle so that's what happens when you allow yourself to become spellbound by external things but you can also become spellbound within your energy field which allows you to be protected but individuals don't know that about being protected and being you know only available for certain types of energies because all type of energies are now are not you know allowed in certain types of energy fields so this is the thing that trips people up because they'll be like i'm i'm a loving people a loving person and you know i got things to offer but if it's not you know the space for your energy for your frequency vibration it's not gonna let you enter that's how you enter in everything and a lot of people think they can enter because of money money might can get you in now but money ain't gonna keep you there it's your energy it's who you think you are or who you know you are that's what's gonna keep you there and how much can you offer to this particular you know situation whatever the case may be how much can you offer because you know like I talk about reciprocity is an even exchange so if you don't have anything to offer that will balance out this experience then you're gonna have to continue to do the work which is the healing which is like I said healing is only removing the things that are outdated that you still are trying to use in order to get you know different results and you can't use the same thing and thinking that you're gonna get different results which they call insanity which I don't, you know, it's certain words I try to stay away from.